I'm Ian Somerville and in this series of videos I'm going to be talking about the important topic of cyber security. First of all, what do we mean by cyber security? Well, one of the problems we have is there isn't a standard definition of this term. It's a very wide ranging term, it covers lots of things, but the different people who use it don't all mean the same thing when they mean by when they talk about cyber security. Cyber security is concerned with all aspects of protecting citizens, businesses and critical infrastructures from threats that arise from their use of computers and the internet. Cyber security is of course necessary because of the possibility of internet related crime. Unfortunately, criminals now often see the rewards from internet crime to be greater than the rewards of committing crime in the physical world and the risks are less. It's easier to rob a bank by attacking its computer systems than by holding up a teller in a bank branch. Not only are the rewards greater, there's less chance of being pursued and caught by the police. Spying is something that's been going on for centuries between nations and that involves stealing each other's secrets. That's made easier when these secrets are held on a computer system. It's also the case that competitors in different industries may also try and steal each other's secrets that are held on computer systems. We now have the potential for nation states to disrupt each other's economy using cyber techniques without any risk to their armed forces. It changes the whole notion of warfare. And on a personal basis, there are fewer online barriers to antisocial behaviour than we see in face-to-face -face interaction. When we interact face-to-face, -face, there are cultural norms that stop us doing things. And it seems that the, these norms don't, are not so strong. They don't, people don't observe these norms when interacting in, across the internet. The scope of cybersecurity covers all sorts of things from threat and attack analysis and mitigation, protection and recovery technologies, processes and procedures for individuals, business and government, and policies, laws and regulations that are relevant to the use of co computers and to the internet. Now it's really important to understand that cybersecurity is a systems problem. It's not just a software problem. It's closely related to a range of more technical issues, computer security, encryption, e-crime, computer forensics, security engineering. Cybersecurity is a socio-technical problem. It's concerned with systems as a whole, the people, organisations, software and hardware that make up a socio-technical system. There are some videos on my site on socio-technical systems. It's generally true that security problems usually stem from a mix of human, technical and organisational problems. And attackers exploit these to gain access illegally to a computer system. A term we need to know about is a cyber attack. What do we mean by that? A cyber attack is a malicious attempt using digital technologies to cause personal or property loss or damage and or steal or alter confidential personal or organisational data. There are two kinds of cyber attack. There are insider attacks which are carried out by people within an organisation and there are external attacks where the attacker is outside of an organisation. In an insider attack, the attacker is accredited to use the system. They may have valid credentials, so they don't have to steal other people's identities to get access to the system. That's not true in an external attack. Either the attacker has to somehow get hold of valid credentials or has to use some other kind of vulnerability in the system which allows access without such credentials. 
This is a news story about an, an insider attack in California where someone in a hospital stole the medical records of more than a thousand patients. Medical records are confidential and private data and they should only be used by clinical staff and others who need to see them. Now it's not clear in this case why these records were stolen, whether the attacker was hoping to sell these records, perhaps because they included the records of a television personality or sports star, or perhaps they had a personal motive. Someone they knew was in the hospital and they wanted their records to find out more about them. We don't know. Another term you need to know about is malware. Malware is software that's installed on a computer without the user or owner's consent and that has some malicious intent. It does something bad, something you don't want to happen. There's lots of examples of different kinds of malware. Keyloggers are systems or malware which, is, which are installed on a computer and which relate the keys that you type or the keys that you press on your keyboard to the URL of the website that you're interacting with. They then send this information to some external site and there it can be analysed to try and find out your credentials, your login ID and password for say an internet banking system which can then be used illegally to access your information. Another type of malware is ransomware. Ransomware is malware which pops up a message on your screen saying send us money or we'll destroy your data. Now this is very worrying to many people and they do respond to that by sending money. Uh, the, the, the software has within it the capability to overwrite the user's data on the disk. Now malware that just infected a single machine wouldn't really be that dangerous. What's bad about it, what's particularly dangerous is that, is that it can spread from one machine to another. So we can have a uh, hundreds, thousands of machines infected by malware. There are two ways in which malware can spread. There's through the use of a virus, a computer virus, which needs a transmission vector. It's something that's attached to something else. And when one thing is transmitted from one machine to another, the virus goes with it. So it may be attached to an email message or it may be attached to a document, such as a Word document, uh, <coughs> that when it's opened is copied into the receiver's computer system. More commonly now, malware might be a worm. A worm is a piece of, is, is a piece of software that can autonomously, on its own, transmit itself using a range of techniques from one machine to another. Now this is even more dangerous because you can't address this problem by scanning incoming mail traffic, say. You need to have a whole range of other detection techniques to find out if there are, if you have a worm type malware infection. Now, cybersecurity, generally speaking, is mostly concerned with malicious damage to a system. But in fact, it ought also to be concerned with accidental damage. People make mistakes. Security Keeping our information secure should not just be about attackers, but also should be about protecting it from normal human mistakes. These will always happen. And many of the same techniques that we use to protect against external attack can also help us capture, detect and recover from accidents, from mistakes that are made by users and programmers in the system. Unfortunately, the introduction of protection against external attacks can sometimes have a negative consequence. It increases the complexity of the system and we know that the more complex a system, the more likely uh, people are to make mistakes. Therefore, there's a trade-off between the degree of protection that we introduce in the system and the extent to which we're willing to tolerate user errors. We have to accept that the more protection we include, the more likely it is that human errors, people will make mistakes, human errors will occur. 
In summary, cybersecurity is basically about protecting computer systems from cyber attacks. Cyber attacks may be either insider attacks or external attacks. And malware is software that's installed on a computer without the owner's consent that has some intent to damage in some way that computer. You can download the slides that accompany this video from my SlideShare account.